Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. Always got to check to make sure that my mic is actually on. You know, you wouldn't believe how many videos I record without my mic being on, and it's it's just it's really upsetting. <laughs> Especially when you do this perfect video and you're like, "Yeah, I really nailed that video." And then you look down and you're like, "There's no audio." Oh gosh, so you got to do it again and try to bring the same amount of enthusiasm and you know, I don't do anything scripted, so it's like, it feels scripted when you're doing the same thing again. So anyway, I should actually talk about what I'm going to talk about in this video. So this one just came to me from our Facebook group, from the Simple Programmer Facebook group. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there is a, a Patreon page, which is sometimes rejected, not rejected, dejected. You can check it out. There's all kinds of like perks and bonuses there. I don't know how long I'm going to keep that up. I might, I might change this but anyway if it's still up and the while well, the video is going you can, you can you can check that out here but I got a question from that about uh, actually a book uh, that I did a review on called the 10x rule and I uh, this is good so I'm gonna answer this question right here so you know see what happens when you join the Facebook group but before I do I do want to talk about our sponsor for simple programmer you know, one of the only sponsors that we've had because we're kind of picky when it comes to sponsors, to be honest with you. And sometimes sponsors are picky with us too. <laughs> It takes a great and special sponsor to sponsor simpleprogrammer.com and hire.com is that sponsor. If you go to hire.com forward slash simple programmer, here's the deal. You get double what their hiring bonus is. So when you get a job through them, they pay you a thousand dollars. But when you do it through hire.com forward slash simple programmer, you'll get two thousand for supporting simple programmer. Check them out. Go to hire.com. I'm going to tell you a little bit about them. They basically help you find a job, but they do it a different way. They basically make it so that you file one application, you fill that out, and then companies come to you. Now you got to be good. You got to have a good application. It's not going to like magically give you a job when you're not qualified. But if you are and you don't want to like send out 50 resumes on Monster.com or whatever it is, I probably shouldn't have said Monster.com. But anyway, check them out. Hire.com for a simple programmer. Even if you just want to check it out and see, it's it helps support the channel and tells the sponsor that. You you love us. You you love the simple programmers. <laughs> so anyway, okay. So let's talk about the question here. So this is from the Facebook group, and I just saw this posted. Just about done with the 10x rule. This is the book, 10x rule. I did a review on it. Grant Cardone. He's awesome. He's really cool. <clears throat> anyway. Um, I can't help but feel like he's contradicting himself. He talks about going for only the big goals, and if you only go for small goals, you'll end up mediocre. It's also very common knowledge that you have to break things down into small pieces to solve them. Smaller goals, mind you. Doesn't it all seem confusing and contradictory? So. No, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> no, it doesn't. I can, I can see where you're, where you're coming from, but I think that some people do get confused between this. So should you have these big, you know, what do they call them? B-hags, big, hairy, audacious goals, right? Or, or should you have these smaller goals? And, you know, so, so I'm going to actually point to my book here because I think I, I did talk about this in my soft skills book, by the way, if you're loving my lovely office well love it because i finally got it almost almost completely done i'm going to add some paneling here to make the sound better see because I, I like you guys and i want you to have good sound okay but in soft skills soft skills software developers life manual get it at your local real retailer or amazon.com anyway inside here I talk about setting goals. In fact, I think it's one of the first chapters. And what I talk about in, in terms of setting goals is that basically you work backwards, okay? So so let, let's let's take what Grant Cardone said in, in 10X role. You get this big goal that's 10X larger than what, what you want to accomplish, right? That, that you think you should accomplish. And you work backwards from there and you say, okay, in order to be there, where what would be the previous step? And what would be the previous step? And what would be the previous step? And you sort of work it back so that there's actually a way to connect. It's like, have you ever done a maze, right? And you work backwards from the, the end of the maze and a little bit from the frontwards and you make sure you can connect, right? Sometimes that's a kind of cheat way to make sure that you don't go down so many dead ends in the maze. Sometimes going backwards is better. Same thing here. So you're going to have a big goal like, like he suggested. Have that big goal. That's great. But 
work backwards and then what you do is you come up with small goals in order to, uh, to to get there. Those are the dots that you connect, the milestones along the way. And hopefully if you break it down even further, this is my advice now, not you know going going off of what, what Grant says here, but I, I bet he would agree, which is that you, you turn these things into habits, okay? You turn them into a routine and habits and in a process. So for example, I'll just give you this example. I think I talked about it in the book, but I, I, at one point, I needed to lose 80 pounds about, right? I had, you know, you can, you, can, you can listen to my story about me tearing my pec here about things that change your life. But I'd eventually gotten, you know, I've been fit most, most of the time since I've been an adult, but then I had that pec tear and stuff, and I got fat, okay? I got like almost like 280, 290 pounds, uh, whatever. And I needed to lose that weight, about like 80 pounds, before I could get in shape and then start gaining muscle again and whatever. So, you know, losing 80 pounds is a, that's a, that's a lot. Okay. So what I did was I just made goals. I made smaller goals. I said, okay, let me break this down. Every two weeks I'm losing five pounds. Right. And I had a system. That was my goal. And my, my, my rules around it were, was really simple. Like I had some rules around what I was eating every day. I made habits out of that. I had like mini goals for every day. And then, you know, and that's what got me there is every two weeks. I just hit these milestones, hit these milestones. You know, my, my whole thing was just, you know, in two weeks I have to be five pounds less. <laughs> and I had this other rule that was like, if I wasn't five pounds less, then I'd have to run however many miles extra per day that I, that I had missed the mark by until I had hit the mark. Uh, I never actually had to implement that. You know, that's the strange thing about putting those nasty penalties on you. So, but what it comes down to is this, okay? Have those big goals. You need to have big goals. I have made mistakes making goals too small. Probably my goals right now are too small, to be honest with you, okay? You don't have to hit all those goals. Sometimes you're not, but it's better. What is it better? It's better to aim high and miss than it is to aim low and hit, right? Too many people aim low and hit their targets and then they're, they're screwed, right? They're falling short. So have those big goals, like Grant said, but break them down into smaller tasks so that they can, you know, you chart your path and you break it down so that you can actually make the steps towards it. And you want to take it, you know, you want to use the, the cumulative effect, the compound effect in order to, you know, step by step, be able to reach these things over time. That's what you make them into habits and you, and you get there and you, and you can hit, I mean, you can eat an elephant one bite at a time. Honestly, you can hit these big goals. But you got to do it the right way. Don't don't make your goals smaller. You know you know what I'm saying. But you break them down, and you have sub goals. And some of these goals that are far out there, like your five year goals, they're always out there. You never hit them. You always revise your five year goals. You're constantly right. So so don't don't think of it that way either. It, the, the main purpose of having these big goals, right? The main reason is so that you have something to shoot for. So you're aiming in the right direction. So you're running the right speed, right? You, you got to have a direction and you, you got to have something that you're shooting for. It doesn't mean that that's exactly what you hit in life circumstances and things change, which change your goals ultimately as you change and grow as a person. But having those big goals is important. Breaking them down is equally important. So it's not really a contradiction. I hope that clears things up for any of you that have been confused by this. If you have a question for me, you can of course join the Facebook group and ask it there and other people will answer too. Uh, you can also email me at john at simpleprogrammer.com. I do have a simple form that you have to fill out when you get there so that I can get the kind of shorter questions. And if you like this video, I have a request for you. Click that subscribe button to do, do, do below. I will wait for you to do it <laughs> and you'll get some of my videos. I do like two to three a day. I will talk to you next time. Take care.